In a pandemic that's felt like a root canal, dentists are hoping to get some Novocaine in the form of a COVID-19 vaccine. That feel better? Dr. Allison Jarrett and the staff at Charles Smith Dentistry are still waiting on their shot. It does seem like, um, you know, we should be in the front lines or in the first batch because, or phase one, I guess, because, um, you know, we do have to be around people without a mask on because it's not really, can't practice dentistry with a mask on. In addition to PPE, dentists everywhere have had new precautions in place to try to prevent getting exposed to COVID-19. We screen everybody before they come in, and then, like I said, they have to have their mask off, but we take precautions for ourselves, too. The National Guard reached out to the West Virginia Dental Board asking for a list of employees that wanted the vaccine. Dental Board President Dr. Vince Veltri feels dentists have been prioritized by the state. From the time the vaccine came on, it wasn't a week later I was contacted, um, well, we were contacted from the, from the National Guard office saying they wanted to get dentists going. Um, so uh, I, I do feel they've made us a priority. Veltri says a little more than 2,000 people in dentistry have signed up for the vaccine. Some have gotten it, while others are waiting and are getting concerned. I think some of the issue with the delay may have, just be, may have come from, um, we have a very small amount of personnel trying to gather a lot of information. Um, and trying to get all that to the guard office to make sure that we can get added to the list, I think has actually probably more been our delay. The National Guard is expected to email dentistry staff when it's their turn. From there, they can choose where to get vaccinated. I know that they've started to do some dentists in the area, so I've just been checking my email waiting to see when we're going to be next. In Charleston, Anthony Kahn, Eyewitness News. Doctors and dentists are buying PPE for themselves and their employees. And as the coronavirus pandemic looms on, some offices are taking new measures to help pay for all this equipment. When you go to your next appointment, you may see a sign like this at your dentist or doctor's office. Some are adding a surcharge to your bill to help them pay for personal protective equipment. These are getting very hard to come by. Dr. Mark Lambert, a dentist in South Charleston, is issuing a charge of $10 per visit. I thought a fair way of adjusting that and keeping up with the cost is just uh, doing a surcharge. Hopefully we can drop it in September or October, I'm hoping. He sees about 20 patients a day and changes his gown after every one. Those gowns are about $7 a piece. Masks have gone up from about 65 cents to almost $4 a piece. And N95 masks? They're still back ordered from April. Um, I'm supposed to get some. Let's let's hope I do. I still have a few, but it's we're we're getting shy. Dr. Charles Smith has not implemented a surcharge. It's not been easy. Uh, we've been fortunate from the standpoint that uh, um, the uh, CARES Act has come along and has provided us with some grants and some additional loan money. Smith said his office has been finding new ways to get materials. We've been very aggressive with trying to keep a 90-day supply on hand. Uh, when, we, when we get down to uh, go through that 30 days, we're back on the phone trying to order to stockpile the stuff. Both dentists say their years of experience, especially dealing with other outbreaks over the years like AIDS, is helping them now. And if you're not sure if your insurance covers this surcharge, you can always call your doctor or dentist to check ahead of time. Reporting in Kanawha County, Anthony Kahn, Eyewitness News.